In this video, we are discussing Python arrays implementation. Arrays are fundamental part of most programming languages and it is the collection of elements of the same data type. As example, you can go for array of int, array of strings and so on. So, here we are having the methods which will be uh, operated on this arrays and here we are having the respective functions and descriptions. So, append to add element to the end of the list extend to extend all elements of a list to another list. We are having this insert to insert an element at the another index given. So, remove to remove an element from the list. So, pop to remove elements return element at the given index. So, that means in case of pop to remove elements and return that element which has been removed from the given index. We are having clear to remove all elements from the list. So, the list will become empty, the array will become empty. Next one is the next one is the index to return the index of the first matched element. So, that is useful for the searching. We are having this count to count the number of elements passed to an argument. So, next one is our short to short the elements in the ascending order by default. Next one is the reverse to reverse order elements in a list. So, the order of elements whatever will be there initially that will be reverse in uh, after application of this reverse method. Next one is the copy to return a copy of the elements in a list. So, these are the different methods and the respective functions we have discussed. So, I think it would be better if you go for a demonstration they will be executing our python codes to show you that how this array can be used in our python programming. Arrays are fundamental part of most programming languages and it is the collection of elements of a single data type and as example we can consider array of elements like string, array of integers, array of float and so on. However, in python there is no native array data structure. So, you use python list instead of an array, but if I want to create a real array real arrays in our python we need to use the numpy's array that is the data structure we are having in our numpy module. So, for mathematical problems numpy array will be more efficient. So, unlike arrays a single list can store elements of any data types and does everything an array does. So, we can store an integer, a float and a string instead of the inst inside the same list. So, it is more flexible to work with. So, let us go for what the, uh, the, the descriptions and the detailing about this array handling and at first we are going to discuss how to create one array in our python. So, here we have defined one array. So, definition and declaring an array. So, these are the set of elements it is having and print arr. So, it will produce the output like this one. So, now if I want to access our array elements we can use the index. The first element will have the index 0. So, arr 0 will print 10, arr 1 will print 20 here. So, arr 2 will print 30 here and here we are having this arr minus 1 that means the last element will be printed that is our 50. We are having this arr minus 2. So, that is minus 1, this is my minus 2. So, 40 will get printed. So, here we are using negative indexing. So, now let us go for another array here. So, here all these members, all these array elements are of the type string. So, if we print these brands, we are getting the output like this one. So, finding the length of the array, we are having the method that is the inbuilt method that is our len here. So, len brands. So, it will print, it will return 5 here because we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements. So, if you print a number of brands, we are getting here 5 as output. We can also add some element using the method append. So, brands dot append intel. So, if you go on printing brands, I am getting this intel as the last element which has got appended. Uh, to the existing array that is our brands. So, now how to remove elements from an array. So, to remove elements we are having the method like remove, we are having the method like pop. So, here we can find that we are having this uh, colors, it is defined there. So, let me print the colors here. So, going for print colors. Okay. So, now if I print this colors, this particular array, we are getting the outcome like this one. So, that is the, there is the colors I have printed. So, now if you go for this del color 4, if you go for this del color 4, then after removing this del color 4, if I print 
that the outcome will be this one so that is the color for means we are having this 0 1 2 3 4 so yellow will get deleted because here we have mentioned the index as 4 so now we are having this colors dot remove blue so here I'm just mentioning directly the respective data items so here we are mentioning directly the data items so that is our blue so blue is the member of this particular array so blue is going to get deleted so you can find that the blue has got deleted here so now we are having this colors pop 3 so now here we are mentioning that radically the index we are mentioning so you can find here that is 0 1 2 3 so orange will get deleted and in this way I am getting the re reduced number of elements of this array getting printed using print colors so in this way we can remove items from uh, from an array so now we are going for this modifying elements of an array using indexing so fruits apple banana mango grapes and orange we are having this one so fruits one so i'm just assigning pineapple to that now what is the outcome so let me go for the print so now let me go for the execution you can find that at first this particular array has got printed now fruits one one means zero one so banana will be replaced by pineapple so it really it has got replaced now fruits minus one minus one means the orange the last one will get replaced by this guava so we are getting the updated content of this array fruits so now we are going for the concatenation of two arrays using the plus operator so concat is equal to one two three and then concat plus four five six so now we are going to print con uh, concat so now let me go for the printing here also so if I go on executing we can find that at first we are having this one two three and then after concatenation I'm getting this one two three why because I didn't assign this concat uh, I didn't assign this uh, this uh, concatenated items in the in, into the that is the array variable so now let us let us write this one so let me do some changes here so now if I execute I can find that so now this concat has got updated by concat plus four five six so this plus is actually denoting the operator to do the concatenation between two arrays so now when you are printing this concatenated array we are getting this one two three four five six so now we are going for the repeating elements in an array so let us go for this repeat a and then repeat is equal to repeat star five and then print repeat so now what is the outcome we can go for this print so just executing the same so at first a is there and next time repeat is equal to repeat star 5 so this a has got repeated for five times okay so now we are having this uh, this fruits so we are having the set of elements are there so if I go on executing this so at first we are getting this fruits this particular array has got printed now print fruits 1 colon 4 always remember the starting index will be inclusive and the ending index will be always exclusive so that is the index number 0 index number 1 is this one so 1 2 3 so I'm expecting banana mango and grapes should get printed yes they have got printed accordingly here the starting index is missing so it will be it will be considered as 0 so from Apple so 3 means it will proceed up to the index number 2 because 3 will be exclusive so 0 1 2 so apple banana and mango should get extracted and should get printed apple banana mango have got printed so now it will start from this minus 4 it will start from this minus 4 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and here we are having this minus 4 and the ending index has not been mentioned so it will go printing up to the last element so banana mango grapes and orange they have got printed so here we are having this minus minus 3 to minus 1 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 I'm getting here mango and minus 1 will be always exclusive because it is the stop index so that's why it will print up to minus 2 that is our grips so in this way we can have the slicing of an array okay so now we are going for the next one so here we are going to have our multi-dimensional array so in case of multi-dimensional array you can find that we are, we are defining one array so here the first element is another array that is con consisting of one and two the second element is also con is another array consisting of three and four and so on so if you go and print this multi-dimensional array you are getting the outcome like this but if you print this multi-dimensional zero that means this one two 
this one to this array will get printed accordingly 3 means 0 1 2 3 so the 7 and 8 will get printed so multi-dimensional array 2 comma 1 so 2 and 1 they are uh, enclosed within the square brackets individually so 2 means 0 1 2 so 2 means this one and 1 means 0 1 so 6 will get printed similarly for 3 comma 0 so in case of 3 and 0 they are individually enclosed within the square brackets so 0 1 2 3 that means this particular element and its 0th one so 7 will get printed here so in this way we have shown you that how to handle arrays in our python programming with demonstration and example thanks for watching this video